Yeah, so uh, I would say earlier this year, because of the inflows from the spot Bitcoin ETF, the market was uh, a little bit uh, happy. And you see Bitcoin price went up, Coinbase price went up. But over the past month or so, you start to hear more and more a higher for longer narrative that impact the trading volume and also Bitcoin price and also Coinbase price. Uh, but I would say longer term, uh, the rates are like tend to come down, not going up based on the comment from uh, a Fed chair Jay Powell. So I would say near term, you would see more volatility because of these rate comment. But longer term, I think the, the outlook is still pretty good for the space. The outlook is pretty good uh, for the space. Uh, where would that take prices of Bitcoin? Because this halving event has been much talked about, you know, uh, is, is turning out to be a catalyst, really, for prices to move up. Correct. So now we passed the halving. I would call out maybe two or three catalysts coming up. The first one is um, there is a report out there that a large warehouse may start to allow their brokers to solicit spot Bitcoin ETF. So if that's the case in the near term, that could induce more other warehouses and RA to change the policy. That can drive more inflow into the spot Bitcoin ETF uh, space. The second catalyst I would call out is the stablecoin bill. I think there's an increasing confidence that Congress may come to the agreement that um, it can pass the bill. Uh, it could be this year, it could be next year, but it looks like they are in the negotiation stage and, and there's a higher chance that this bill can, can get passed. So I would say that could, that could help USDC, that can help the whole space. And those are the, kind of the two near-term catalysts for, for the space. Again, like if um, the Fed uh, lower interest rate, I think that will be like another big event for this space as well. Well, surely enough, I'm looking at the 12 month performance of Coinbase, 345%. And even in uh, the year to date chart, it's done quite well for itself. You're saying that there's a possibility. There you go. That's Bitcoin. If we flip over and take a look at Coinbase, what a run for the business on the back of the underlying assets that they, so, that they sell on the exchange, 9% up in yesterday's session. Uh, Owen, you're saying that there's a possibility of Coinbase to be included in the S&P in 25. From a regulatory standpoint, what would, the, you know, would, that, would that see the light of day? Would, would they get the, glare, uh, the green signal? Well, I, I don't see the regulatory concern. It's one of the criteria in S&P 500 inclusion. What, what I saw was a couple of criteria. Number one, market cap. Uh, Coinbase is way bigger, than, uh, larger than $18 billion market cap requirement. And the second one is the trading volume. So again, uh, Coinbase is highly liquid. Uh, it's possible that, you know, like it, 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 they pass this requirement. Uh, the final point is about uh, profitability. So based on my math, uh, the requirement is uh, it has they have to be profitable for the last four quarters and profitable in the current quarter. And Coinbase also meet this criteria. So based on what S&P said about the criteria, Coinbase meet this requirement. But again, like, I don't expect them to be included uh, this year, but it could be a thing in 2025.